This is the 100 yard test of the Fiocchi 40 grain VMAX ammo. I started this at 50 yards and now I'm moving to 100. I'm using the same uh, rifles, an 18 inch uh, Faxon barrel and a 10 and a half inch Seekins Precision. So because this looks a whole lot like the 50 yard test, I'm going to speed this up a bit and we'll watch a few shots and get to the targets. After that first shot, I have now edited out a lot of the aim time between shots just for time's sake. So this is not real time. Well, I think you get the idea. So let's look at the target. Uh, this first target you're going to see is from the 18-inch uh, Faxon barrel. And uh, I was aiming at that center bull's eye. And you can see I hit a little high. I adjusted my scope and shot at the left red dot and you can see that's a really good group but one of those is luck if i can do it two times in a row not so much luck so look at the dot on the right got a similar group there with one outlier and uh, that's probably operator error okay now it's time for the shorter barrel this is the ten and a half inch seconds precision and uh, let's remember, as you watch this, um, this is a very different setup, not just by barrel length, but I'm using a 25 power scope with the 18 inch barrel and only a six. So I have a fourth of the magnification on this gun that I did on the other one. Let's see how it compares in uh, accuracy. Okay, so here's what the hits look like on the target. Uh, I shot uh, two three-shot groups and started with the bullseye. And you can see I was a little bit high on that, so I did adjust my scope. And uh, even with the hits where they were, it's, it's well under a 1 MOA group at 100 yards. And then I shot the uh, little red dot, and I had two hits almost in the same hole and one outlier. Uh, so for... A ten and a half inch barrel and a six power scope. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Just to summarize, I've shot the Fiocchi 40 grain VMAX uh, from two different barrel lengths of two different manufacturers. I shot it at 50 yards and it did really well in both rifles. I doubled that yardage to 100 yards and it did very well in both rifles. Now we're starting to see a little bit of the uh, a group spread with the shorter barrel, but that's mostly due to the uh, lower power scope, not the shorter barrel. I don't have as good a picture at 100 yards as I do at 50. So the next thing I'm going to do is double the yardage again from 100 to 200 and see if the uh, light bullet still holds up well at 200 yards. <laughs> 